what's up y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of brit if you're new here welcome i'm Brittany, and today we are doing a braided vlog i try to do these at least once a month on my channel just keeping my viewers updated on how my business braids by Brittany is going so i show off a few hair appointments i take you with me on some shopping trips where i stock up on supplies and show you any new products and tools that i may discover while i'm in the beauty supply stores I also share any tips or advice that I may think of that can help you grow your business. And if I get lucky, sometimes I'm also able to style my hair in a vlog. So if you're interested in any of that, please stay tuned. We have a good vlog today. We're like diamonds in the sky. We're kicking off the vlog on Mental Health Monday. Y'all know how I feel about Mondays. I don't typically do hair on Mondays unless it's something simple. So I took one client, my kid client, Kamaya. I love her to death. She's so well behaved. And after I finished Kamaya's hair, I headed to Marshall's just to get some organization tools because I wanted to spice up my braid bestie. So shop with me real quick. This is just what I came for. I was looking for black and acrylic items to add to my braid bestie for organization. And this canister set is gonna be perfect for hair ties, beads, bows, like just to make all of my cute things look even cuter. So this is, of course, is supposed to be used for the kitchen, but I'm gonna use it for the braid vesting. And they are $6.99. Yeah, this is coming home. This is completely unrelated, but it's literally as soon as you turn the corner from the canisters. Marshalls has the cutest glassware. Like, look at the shape of these glasses. Kate Spade has a line of glasses here. And this one would have came home with me. I think this is really cute. It's called, it's by a company called Cupcakes and Cashmere. And it's called the Five Piece Brunch Set. I'm gonna get off of random stuff in a minute, y'all. But it comes with this little thing that you fill up your mimosa with. And then the flutes, four flutes okay last thing and then back to braider business but this is so cute for like a ramen night some ramen noodles in this bowl so cute they even have one that says ramen but the sticks are missing and they have this little small one for rice to do like a rice bowl i have returned from my little shopping spree at marshall's well not really a spree i just grabbed a couple of things i did what i went to do and i got canisters these cute little containers for my braid bestie I got a larger size one that was $6.99. And then this one is slightly smaller. And it was $5.99. And these two items over here are unrelated to the braider vlog, but they were so cute. I had to bring them home. It is this 20 piece Tupperware set. So you get 10 containers and 10 lids, I believe. Let's see. Yes. Um, just for like packing lunch for work and stuff, leftovers, putting it in the fridge. I thought that they were really cute and summery. And then I got it sticking to the back for some reason. And then I got these little reusable ice cubes. So you just put them in the freezer and freeze them. And they make your drink look really cool. So of course, it takes away the fun of being able to chew ice in your cocktails. But I'm gonna, I plan on doing a bunch of fun summer cocktails. And I think these look really cute in my glassware. So. I got these in the Tupperware. We'll discuss cocktails and stuff in a vlog, a fun vlog, but back to business. I haven't talked to y'all much today, but before leaving the house today, I had one client and then I wanted to spend the rest of the day organizing my life. So I'm gonna remove, finish removing everything out of the braid bestie and disinfect this really well. Most of my stuff is on this shelf. It looks crazy, but all of my products are over here that I'm currently using and living. All of my containers holding my equipment and like little tools are on this side. But I just want to wipe everything down, get it looking really cute. These were an Amazon purchase. I have a hundred of them. This is just a small percentage that I keep over here for my clients. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove the remainder of my storage containers out of the braid bestie and just disinfect everything. All of my combs, supplies, tools are already disinfected with barbicide. I'm just going to use this multi-purpose um, 
surface this by Clorox and, the, and it's called Sentiva. It's pretty much like a Clorox spray. It has bleach in it, but it's scented. And this is the Tahitian Grapefruit Splash. So it just smells like oranges and grapefruit with a little vanilla. So this is what I'm going to use to wipe everything down. Um, and then I'm going to put everything back in. organization everything looks so cute every time I buy something for this braid vest I say it's super cute but it really is I love finding things to make work fun and this is so cute I'm in love with those little canisters I got out of Marshall Jaw so definitely check them out for storage goods because it took my braid vestie to the next level for sure if you missed the vlog where I first set this up, this little three pack right here of these little canisters came from Pop Shelf. Of course, it's always this type of stuff is always located in the food storage aisles with Tupperware and stuff. So, um, yeah, just don't look in here like the um, beauty area of any store. Go to the food storage. That's where you're going to find that. This came from Marshalls as well, probably about a year ago. This jar right here came from Dollar Tree. These two trays came from Dollar Tree, and y'all already know all the products come from a little bit of all over the place. Hey y'all, it is now Tuesday, day two of the vlog. I'm realizing that I didn't come on camera at all yesterday and show my face, so I wanted to pop in and say hello today before I get the day started. I'm looking rough as always. I plan on doing my hair in this vlog, something quick and simple when it's a working week. I don't really have much time for myself, so whatever I can get done, I'll just try to throw together for my hair. Excuse that little scratch under my eye. I hurt my eye being clumsy, y'all. Long story short. Thank God it was beneath my eye and not my actual eye socket. I'm okay. But yeah, today I'm just going to do one client like I did yesterday. This is an adult client. And the reason why I'm only taking her is because she's getting a takedown and getting a new protective style put in all in one day. Um, which is just, this is something I don't suggest if y'all been around for a while. I tell y'all all the time to let your hair breathe and kind of make space in between your hair appointments. But she's a busy working woman. She's normally working at her appointments. So when she booked and let me know that she needed her hair taken down as well, I went ahead and closed out all my other openings for today because she currently has soft locks. So I have to remove the soft locks. If y'all know anything about that, the locks have to be removed and inside each individual lock, her hair is plaited. So I have to pick the plaques out, comb her hair out, detangle it, wash it, and install her new braids. Her new braids, she wants um, regular box braids, traditional box braids, um, all black with a blonde skunk stripe. So I'm about to be six to seven, maybe seven and a half hours on just one client. So I said, that's enough for me today. Just me and her for the next seven hours. I'm going to vlog that. That'll be my day for today. And then we'll roll into Wednesday. Tomorrow, um, I need to go to the hair store. So we'll probably do a hair store run. Um, I'm going to try to do my hair if I have time. My cousin is coming to get a sew in. So we'll just see what tomorrow brings. But yeah, my client will be up in a few minutes. So I just got the shower. Let me try to get myself together before she comes upstairs. And yeah, y'all will just see her appointment in a couple seconds. As y'all can see, my client's hair needed some serious attention. Me and her had it out when she sat down because she kept her soft locks in way too long. But I took my time and just released her hair from each lock. And as I was releasing her hair from each lock, I went ahead and started picking out the plaits as well and detangling her hair. Once I finished removing the locks and picking out her hair, detangling it and all of that, she wanted to wash it and blow dry it herself. And as she did that, 
I prepped the hair for her box braid. So you see me right now just softening her hair and prepping the next hair that I was about to install while she's washing her hair. And then she comes back from the kitchen and I go ahead and install the new braids. Again, she got jet black braids, traditional box braids with a blonde skunk stripe. You see me finishing up here, y'all. Very long day. Um, she always requests a steam towel. She tells me to braid her hair super tight so it lasts, but then she always asks me to steam a towel for her. So that's what you see me doing now, and that pretty much concludes her hair appointment and my day for Tuesday. It's too hot? It's too hot? Yeah. But do it. We don't have a choice, do we? It is now Wednesday and I did a middle part sewing for my cousin, but I didn't vlog much of that because we made lunch plans and once I decided that we were going to go get something to eat, I forgot all about vlogging her hair. But we ended up going to Caribbean Fiesta. I've taken y'all here before. I got my usual, an oxtail plate with mac and cheese and cabbage with a side of plantains. I got some rum punch, a key lime pie for my dessert. My cousin got a margarita and she got curry chicken. It was so good. And then after she took me home, I went to the hair store. These are so cute little razors to cut your hair, but they're in heart shapes. I talked to y'all about the company BTO before braid twist and locks and showed y'all the braiding wax and mousses, but now they have this lock and twist gel specifically for locks. <laughs> Y'all, they got these two caps in a pack for 99 cent, which is what I normally get. That's not abnormal. But right next to it, they got five pack, five caps in a pack for $1.99, only a dollar more, and you get three extra caps. Why wouldn't I just go ahead and get five caps and have extra for I went to my lunch slash dinner date with my cousin, and once she brought me back to my car, I was going to stay in, but I said, you know what, let me run back out, get what I need for my hair. That way tomorrow I already have what I need and there's no excuses. So the first thing I got was this braid and rack. Quick little disclaimer, because I showed y'all this braid and rack in another vlog when I was going through the new launch that BTL had out. I was showing y'all that they had this and I said, I'm not gonna get it because I don't need one. Maybe like a week or two after that vlog was released, my other braid and rack collapsed. Y'all know that I have the braid bestie, which y'all see me organize at the beginning of this vlog that I use for my home appointments. But when I travel, I need a braid and rack because they make my appointments just go so much quicker and smoother. So for the past couple of weeks, not being able to have a braid and rack when I go to other people's homes has just been driving me crazy. So the wooden rack, it can be hot glued back together. I glued it back together a couple times, y'all. I was in love with that rack, y'all. I spray painted it. I showed y'all that in other vlogs. Didn't want to get rid of it, but it kept collapsing. So I'm like, I'm going to just do away with that and I'm going to try this, this plastic one. Now that I know that this was out, I just said I'm going to go get it. And so that's what I grabbed today. Um, What I love about this one is that it has these little suction things at the bottom. Braiders, if y'all know, when y'all prop up y'all braiding rack sometimes, whether it's on a nightstand or the table, it has a tendency to slide around. But what I love about this that the wooden ones don't have is this suction thing. I can stick down onto whatever platform I'm working on, whether it's my client's dining room table or her island counter if we're in the kitchen or her living room, like coffee table. It'll suction down on whatever surface and my braiding rack will stay in place, which will prevent it from falling so much. So I love that, but yeah, I went ahead and got this, y'all. And I don't have to worry about spray painting it or anything because it's already purple, it's already blinged out, and I guess it was just meant for me to have it. Other than that, everything else I got from, from the hair store was for me to do my hair. I got this Organic hair, y'all have seen me use this hair in another braider vlog where I did a quick style on my stove just to get through the week. But today, instead of using the, the straight hair, I think in that vlog, I used like a burgundy ombre straight hair where I did a half up, half down style. This one, I'm doing two ninja space buns in the front of my hair. I'll show y'all a picture of the inspo. I've seen it on Pinterest. I was looking for something really cute and quick to do. Um, so I went on Pinterest and that style popped up. I said, yeah, this is the one. I wasn't sure what hair she used. I'm pretty sure it was human hair, but I just got this all in one pack for $23.99. It's a synthetic blend. 
um and this hair is a lot longer than what she has in the picture but i'll make it work i'll cut it if i need to um i do want my hair a lot longer than what she has but not too too long maybe like right above my shoulders so i got this um and this should get the job done the two space buns with the back curly um and this will last me about a week and a half I showed y'all in the hair store they now have these large size caps you get five in a pack for two dollars that was a win-win so i can probably use two caps for this style i like to double up my caps because just in case some glue want to seep through that extra cap is there i probably use two caps for the back of my head to just go ahead and quick weave the track the tracks on i'm not going to sew the hair into the back of this style because i'm not going to keep this hair in long y'all know when it comes to these little half up half down synthetic styles i don't keep them in long so yeah i'm gonna just use two caps for that to um glue the hair on and then i got some free spray this is what i use to slick my hair down any sleek style where you see my hair is pulled back i always use got to be i got a little mini can that's all i'm gonna need for this style and then of course i got some hair glue so all of this stuff was about $45. I was trying to test out the little suction thing and it works. Once I get it stable on whatever counter surface I'll be using at my travel appointments, it'll stick. So I like that. And the little case that it was sold in in the store comes with a little handle. So I think going to and from braider appointments, travel appointments, I'll just slide this braiding rack inside this container that I brought it in and just carry it by the handle because I'm not trying to break this, y'all. I do have a suitcase that I use when I go to travel appointments, but I don't always bring that. So this would be good. So we now have a new braiding rack and I'm about to put it over here with my other travel supplies. And for now, I just stuck it down here on this shelf with my other travel bags. I brought my travel bags and supplies in the house because y'all have a video coming real soon. Um, a requested girl talk video where I discuss what I keep in my travel bags. So I went ahead and brought that in to motivate me to go ahead and get that video done for y'all before my next travel appointment. So I have my bag on wheels, my little toiletry bag, and now my new braiding rack. And we'll discuss everything that's in them in the video right after this. Hey y'all, it is the fourth and final day of the vlog. This look right here was my second client of the day. And I didn't vlog my first person because she was late and vlogging her appointment just would have pushed my day back further. This second look though is a look that my client got straight from my page. It's a look that I did for my cousin. Um, maybe some months ago, she did the Water Wave Goddess Braids look with the Lulu Tress hair. So this time, my client chose to do purple and black instead of all purple, and it turned out really cute. After she left, I went ahead and jumped straight on my head. I made myself my third appointment of the day. Really could not wait to do these face buns with the curly hair in the back. But I'm not going to talk y'all through my part. I'm just going to let y'all watch me work on my hair, and then I'll come back and close the vlog when my hair is done. enjoy every moment of doing this hairstyle it was just so simple and quick to do i got it done in less than an hour i cannot wait to style it with a cute outfit put on some big hoop earrings my lashes my brows and kind of just pull the whole look together but i hope you all enjoyed watching me do my hair i hope you enjoyed the full vlog i love you guys and i will see you in the next video